Yo, what's up everyone? You got Lightning here, bringing you a special video because it's my first uh, how to carry bronze video in this new series that I'm starting. Uh, now today we're playing Annie. Uh, I happen to believe that she is one of the most reliable champions you can play in low elo, especially like bronze, silver, because just because of her kit, um, her farming is so easy with her Q. And some people seem to forget like one of the easiest, most simple and effective ways of, of winning a game and getting ahead, which is farming. So that's the key to this video today is Annie's Q farming, even though I'm giving a bad example right now. Uh, since her Q gives mana back on uh, a kill for, uh, and the cooldown gets reset or cut in half, it makes her really easy to, to farm in lane, especially against uh, other ranged champions or even, even push champions because she can uh, farm under tower quite easily with her Q. And also... Um, farm and lane quite safely with her range and her auto attack range. So, <clears throat> anyway, re reversing Orianna, um, as you can see, I've hit level 2 and I'm trading with her instantly. Uh, I, I have Thunderlords and I out damage her uh, early. Uh, she can't really contend with my, my Q, W damage. And your, your Q is a point and click, and your W is basically an insta, insta cast. Like, as soon as you cast it, if, if you have your stun up, they're gonna get stunned, right? So. Uh, it's it's quite she's quite an easy champion to, to trade with like see see there like level two She came too close and I got my stun up with my with my Q and then instantly W would her uh, Auto attack for the Thunder Lords and then ignite see she wasn't respecting the any damage Which means I could basically go up to her. She wasn't expecting to die up there obviously so It gave me a free kill just because she was out of position and didn't really respect my early damage because I have I got 46 AP like I'm running quite a lot of AP in this room page um, but that was her fault, not respecting the kind of damage that I can put out uh, early levels since I traded with a level two, and then as soon as I got to level three, I went for that went for that trade uh, and and got the kill, you know, because I leveled up my my Q a second time because I didn't really need my E because uh, she wasn't really auto attacking me or anything, so I, I got the the Q level three for the extra damage. Now to to win this lane. So, so she blew flash, then I still got my flash, and also I got a second Doran's ring for the just for the extra health and mana sustain, so I can trade like often, and keep trading with her to to make her uh, too scared to come up to CS and 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 fight me, right? So right now the lane's pushing towards me, like she's gonna she, she can still get the CS, but she has to come up and possibly risk uh, taking a really bad trade, so. She got a couple of lows, but she missed she missed a couple as well. So the lane's pushing the me, it's in a good spot right now. And I want to keep it around here. Lee's coming in for a gank. Like, I don't really like this gank, because I was trying to just leave the wave there. And like, at this point, like, I don't care about this guy. He's This is bronze, like, he's Gleason. I know he's not very good, right? So I, I just leave him, because that gank was, was pretty bad. I couldn't really, I was so far away. I, I had, I'd have to flash to try and get in on the gank to try and commit with him. And I didn't really want to do that, so I should have pinged him back, but I didn't think it'd go so ham like that. He uses W to get in right into her minions and then go in with his Q. So he had no escape or anything. But now, um, again, Orianna doesn't respect my, my damage, and I just flash after her to get the kill. And now the Warwick comes after me to try and finish off me off, but I activate my E instantly to get another stack and then and then use my QW combo and auto attack. So that gave me the kill on him, like, especially, especially being like a level up, you know, and getting dangerous game off uh, Orianna. So that was a pretty, I guess, a lucky sort of 2v1 that, that I was able to get damage on the Warwick before he came in at that second time. But see, now I'm in a really good spot. I'm 3-0, and zero, uh, I'm level 6, I'm going to level up on Orianna, and I'm going to shove this right in. And now I'm going to back. So I've got such an advantage. And when I come back to lane, like things are just gonna snowball out of control, you know. With my, with my easy farming, my my point and Q, uh, sorry, point and click Q with high damage. Not to mention my, uh, instant W cast, cast time, and then my also I've also now I've got my ult, my insta cast ult. Now this is your, this is the main objective of any. You literally have one job in team fights, which is just to either flash ult their team or just try and ult their, ult their team when they engage that sort of thing she's really she's really simple to play like you know what you have to do in a in a team fight sort of thing you want to try and either burst their ad carry or, or burst their whole team 
like stun their, get a stun on their whole team. So she's pretty um, two dimensional, you know. Like she's she's only got one sort of like play play style in the team fight and, and in lane. You know, you know what you have to do to win, to to you know to to engage on them. You need to like get that flash flash ult or not even flash sometimes like. You've already seen uh, Oriana be out of position so many times, and she's she's suffered for it. So she's died twice now when Warwick's died because he came at me. So at this point, I've got my needlessly large rod. So she comes at, like, too close. Like, I'm just waiting for the moment. I've got my stun up, blue buff. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for that window of opportunity. There we go. She comes up way too close, and I was just sort of mirroring her movement. So if she runs away... Well, like if she comes close, I run towards her and then force her to, to move back. And if she doesn't move back in time, I automatically just go in, like, without without a doubt, without a, any hesitation, just go straight in with my ult and my uh, Ignite and, you know, uh, WQ, Thunderlords. And that's enough to burst her down since I'm so far ahead. And at this point, like, I've got, I've got Warwick sitting at her tower. She, he's just, he has to guard the tower, otherwise... You know, all that seize is going to go, all that XP is going to go go lost and no one's going to get it. And also I'll get so much damage on the tower. So he has to defend it and I'm able to get a lot of damage on him. Almost kill him, like so close. See now he has to back. He can't he can't go in the jungle in right now. He has to back. So that gives my Lee time to, you know, do whatever he wants. But at this point he was, he was pinging me for blue buff. I wasn't really aware of it. So I said sorry to him. Because I know <laughs> when I'm jungling, shit, I, I fucking hate it when... when when mid laners don't come, I don't, I don't wait. I'm an asshole jungler. I just, I'll start the blue buff. I'll ping you, and if you don't come, I'll just, I'll just take the blue. Uh, I'm not gonna wait. You know, it's not something I'm, I'm here to do. It wastes too much time. So that's why I apologize to the Lee because, yeah, he was pinging me for blue, and I was, I wasn't coming. I wasn't where he was pinging me for blue. But so now we're in another good position. Like I got blue. <clears throat> I'm level eight, and we can really pressure this Oriana now, right? So. At this, so I'm just gonna keep pressuring her with my with my threat of my stun ult. Well, she probably doesn't know that I don't have ult right now, but but as long as I have the the threat of you know ult, like stunning her and getting a shitload of damage on her, um, she's she's gonna play a bit scared. Of it. I don't, all I gotta do is mirror her movements uh, and try not to get hit by her ball. And eventually she'll make a mistake. Like it's it's gonna happen, right? So. Just using my Q, my easy Q tool, uh, farming tool with my Q. Bad example there. Um, missed that cannon. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have W'd that wave. Should have just uh, got the cannon and then auto queued to, to finish that wave off. <coughs> but, see the lane, even though I'm ahead, like the lane is in a pretty bad position. And Warwick should be level 6 by now. So, and as you can see, his pass is on me. So, if, oh, here we go. Warwick's mid. Leona's mid. So, in a sense, that's kind of a good thing because... I'm bringing their support and their jungler to mid lane at, at 9 minutes into the game. So that means my bot lane can pressure uh, the, the Lucian pretty hard. And also, the other lanes aren't pressured by the Warwick, because he's spending so much time mid, right? So, <clears throat> it works out good for me, because it gives my team some breathing space. Now here I'm low health, I took a bad trade. But again, bam. Window of opportunity, she missed her ult. That was a really shitty ult by her. Like it was I wasn't even near it. Like I don't know why I don't know why she ulted, but at this point in the game she's probably like really desperate for a kill on me because she's so far behind. But what she's done is now just extend my lead. I'm five and oh now. <clears throat> so there's really no way she can come back to this lane. She she's done. She's done. She's stopped this lane up so hard by, by just not respecting my damage early. And then trying to go for a stupid ult. Well, it was more of a desperation ult. <clears throat> I'd rather call it than a than a stupid ult. Like it was still dumb, but it was more of a desperation ult to try and uh, try and get some gold back up on me. Because right now, like I got two and a half or well, two point two k. So that's that's my Ludens. So I'm gonna go for a Ludens. And so like she's she's not even gonna have like be close to her Morellos, and she needs uh, she needs Morellos, you know, for the mana. But in my opinion, any if you get ahead as Annie, I don't think you need uh, like, like Morellos and stuff like that. You can you can opt to go for Ludens straight away for that early, that really early damage power spike, and it won't really affect affect your mana. Like you don't you don't need you don't need heavy mana regen since you get so much mana back from your Q, and you don't really need um, that extra that extra mana regen 
for anything really, apart from team fights. But when I can when I can sort of burst Oriana down so hard, there's no point in getting so much mana regen, especially when I got two Doran's rings for the extra mana regen and health anyway. So I'm just waiting to see if she's going to go on me again. Like I, I have a feeling she's going to land this other ult or try try for another ult. But the the, the waves in a pretty good position in my under my tower. But now it's going to go back to the middle of the lane. But again, that's fine. Like I, I do have my ignite and my and my uh, ult. So I'm just sort of trying to have that thread up again of being able to stun her. Look, she's level seven and I'm level ten. So. When you look at that, like she can't really contest me. Even if she got a combo on me, I don't think I'd die. Now Warwick's come mid yet again. So he's spending so much time mid and he's getting nothing. I'm still so far ahead. And I'm just keeping my making sure I keep my farm up. I'm trying to pressure the lane as well. Um like I should be trying to pressure the tower. Since I'm so far ahead. But I've just gotta I just have to wait and see what she does like because i i need some more wards to be honest like you really need to ward up when when you're this far ahead people are going to try and kill you get the shutdown gold see warwick just died so i know i'm not really under any threat from him but i really want to back like i have 3k gold i want to spend it i want to get that extra power spike got my ludens got some cooldown boots since my ult's up so when i when i next time i ult it'll be up quicker obviously get some vision I got the sweeper since I'm level 9, I get the upgrade on it. That's important so I can clear all the vision, uh, just in case Ori, Ana, or, or Warwick is warding around the, the jungle. I want to try and clear that for Lee and myself so I know that Warwick's not coming. So I, don't, I want to try and you know decrease their vision overall so that they can't uh, you know, get surprise attacks on us or, or know if Lee's ganking or get information and that sort of thing. But again, keeping that thread up of the, of the ult. Got my tier 2 boots, so I'm quite fast. <clears throat> but while I've got this threat of stunning her with my ult, she she has to back away. And again, Lee's pinging me for the blue. So I just try and clear the wave quickly and then come and get it. And like, if you're a jungler, and if you're in like low elo, and your mid laner's ahead, like, give them blue. Blue is so good on any mid laner. I even any. Even though I don't really have any mana issues, blue is just so good for... for Keeping that pressure up, and if I wanted to clear clear waves without my Q, like using my W a lot, it's just so handy. Not to mention the 10% uh, cooldown you get. So next time I use my ult, you know it'll go on. Uh, I have 20% CDR rather than the 10% with just the boots. Uh, since I shot the lane and I'm going for a roam, but I'm I think they might be awarded here because they backed off. So I just go back to mid, and then Leona. You can see Leona and Lucian actually roaming up. Now, this is a this is a weird situation because I'm coming from behind. I know I have damage, but see the the three of them are engaging on two of my team. Luckily, Riven teleports, so we get the uh, advantage again. And luckily, I managed to get the ult off on Lucian, and delete him from the game. Then Leona goes on me. Look at my look at my Tibbers, It's fucking destroying the wallet. Boom, dead. So that was a really good fight for us, just because I. I was aware of what was going on. A flash. I didn't need a flash there, but I flash uh, Q W uh, W Q B Oriana just to get the the stun off, and then my team finish her off. Unfortunately, Callista dies because she, uh, I guess she accidentally took aggro from the tower, but that's fine. So we're gonna get this tower, as well as those three kills. So that's a really huge advantage for my team. So now I'm seven and zero. Oh. Like I'm so far ahead of anyone in the game. Now we could have done dragon here, but I've got 1700 gold, I really wanted to back and buy. Because there's no point in hoarding a whole shitload of gold. Um, you really don't want to like try and try not to hoard heaps of gold, you want to try and spend it. Because if I'm really far ahead and I'm hoarding like 3-4k gold, um, you know, that doesn't, and if, say if Oriana backs uh, and then buys, that doesn't really put me that far ahead. Uh, if I'm not spinning my gold, so if as long as I keep spinning my gold, like especially for a needlessly large rod, that that's a huge power spike again. Like it, I got 246 ma uh, AP. But and look, I catch Warwick out here. That's the good thing about Annie. You can just at this point in the game, no one's really that tanky. So because he wasn't aware that I was in the bush, luckily I had my sweeper. 
Um, I was able to 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 scan scan the bush and know there was no they had no vision of me, so I could just sit in the bush and catch them off guard. So that's yet another kill for me. A bit more gold, more pressure. See Lucian and Leona. I make a mistake here. See, like I didn't respect the fact that uh, Leona can ult me, and then Zenith Blade, and then into the Oriole and the Lucian ult. <laughs> so. <laughs> They really, they really wanted my ass right there, and they, they got it, because I, I didn't respect the range of the Leona ult. And that's my bad, you know, you'll see, you'll see I make a few mistakes, like everyone makes mistakes, but um, that's one thing to be, be wary of, you know, since I have all the gold for my team. Well, not all of it, but I have a lot of gold for my team at the moment, so I, I can't really afford to die, because when, when you have so many kills and then you die for the first time, it just, it gives you, it gives your team all the shutdown gold, and that's how a lot of, people like they get so far ahead in the game and then they stuff it all up by by getting too cocky and dying and you'll see it in this game like we get too cocky um or get too close stay too long all those things and they they can they can turn a game pretty hard so here we're just trying to go for this mid tower we need to try and uh, open the map up a bit more and unfortunately i didn't uh, push hard enough to get the mid tower when I was in lane versus Ori with my lead, but at least I was able to make an impact from bot lane. So now since bot lane tower is gone, they've come mid, uh, which is a really good call on them, so we can just go straight in. Unfortunately I get caught again by Warwick, luckily Borm ults, but then I still get jumped on by Leona. So that's just one other thing, you know, I've, I've got to be wary of the threats. The threats to me is uh, getting Leona ulted, Getting a War Occulted, or even uh, Leona's Zenith Blade, and then into an Oriole. And that's enough, to, that'll be enough to like delete me. So, since I'm building really squishy, but a lot of damage, like if, if I get jumped on by Warwick, it's basically, it's basically a good night for me. So, I have to be really careful of that. And unfortunately, in those two occasions, I, I wasn't respecting their, their damage enough. But see, one good thing is, see, since Ori's so far behind, like, she did a full combo on my team, and she did, like, almost no damage, so, since she's 1 and 6, and she lost lane so hard, she can't really commit to, to, like, a, like, a duel with anyone, because I'm pretty sure Callista could, like, could take her on, just because she's, she's only got one item, she's only got Morellos, and here's me almost finishing my Rabidon. Now Lee goes in, she ignites Lee. Oh, did he die? Okay, so he lives, luckily. So that's just, like, yet another kill, but my team could have just got the tower. We get the tower anyway, so that's good enough. At this point, yeah, there's three, three coming on us, Trindamere and the jungler will work. I stunned Trindamere and back off. We, I sh we don't really want to take that fight at all. We should have just got the tower and backed off. Because by that time, they've all respawned. They're all coming back out into the map. with, with you know, They've just bought items and stuff. <clears throat> So that was a bad overstay on all of our part. Luckily, I didn't die that time because uh, they didn't CC me enough. But that, that's fine. So just trying to keep pinging so we know where they are all the time. They're chasing River, and I'm pinging that I'm coming, but um, she'll get away anyway. And trying to me backs off, so there's no point of us of me like continuing that chase. Although I do use my sweeper to check that bush. It uh, looks like there's some wards in there. The Leona's there, so I don't really want to get jumped on by Leona because if if Trinomir's in the bush or whatever, then then I could just die. And again, just using my <laughs> using my uh, delete button to, to kill Oriana there. And then quickly run away from these guys. Riven the smartass teleports to Tibbers, so that's fine. <laughs> I thought Walker's gonna ult me, so I used my E. But he ulted, he got Riven, so that was quite a good thing. But she kills him pretty fast. And she's getting some CC on Leona. I've got my stacks, so just keep chasing, get this done. And we get the kill on Leona. <clears throat> so even though we've made a couple of mistakes this game, we can still snowball the game so heavily just because we're able to keep Warwick coming mid all the time and with several failed ganks. Uh, he got nothing from mid, so it's, if you add up all the time he spent mid, it's just wasted. It wasted a couple of minutes of his time where he could have been farming or, or headed bot, you know? So all in all, I think it was a pretty good landing phase. But now we're in the mid game, like you can see Callista and Bomber overextended down there. 
they, sh they probably shouldn't be down there alone, even though they, I know they want to get the power. Like, Lee and Riven are top, I'm mid, I'm backing for my Rabidons. They shouldn't be down there, but that's, that's fine. So 21 minutes, I've got Rabidons, Ludens, and half my Zonyas. I'm going for Zonyas because uh, if Warlock tries to jump on me, or, or if uh, Leona tries to ult me, I can always Zonyas and dodge all their damage. <clears throat> So to have 400 mana at 21 minutes, uh, sorry, 400 AP at 21 minutes is pretty crazy. Uh, like I could burst anyone down at this point, and here I can see a fight's breaking out. And I go ahead and I ult the Trinomir and Leona. At, at that point in time, they were the biggest threat to me, like, Le Lucian and Leona were, sorry, Lucian and Warwick were back on the other side of the river, so there wasn't any point in me trying to hold my ult, I might as well just use it so we could delete two members of their team. And we're chasing Lucian. We, we can catch him because I'm faster, I run faster than him. So nice, I get the get the kill steal on that on him. And we ace him. Now we're just pushing bot. Best thing we can do is just push push this uh, into the tower. Riven and Lee can get the dragon really easily, so I just use my tibbers to help push the lane and, and chuck into the tower. Because we can probably get this tower from before when, when Callista and Blom were going for it. And we get the tower. So we get we get an ace, we get the dragon, and we get a tower. That's a huge amount of gold. Now we're overstaying, we should just be running away. I have I know I have low mana, I know um, we should be backing here. But then Riven and Lee come in, so I'm thinking, oh shit, I've gotta try and like help them. <laughs> but Riven die is like pretty interesting instantly, so at this point we should just run. Maybe sacrifice Storm and run. It's not a good idea to stay. Ori Ori lands the ult, Warwick jumps on me. And then Leona jumps on me for the kill. Warwick gets the kill. And then Lee, between Lee and Braum, they're not gonna do shit. Forces the flash. It, it's wasting their time, I guess, but it's... Oh, a Callista ends up killing the Trinity there. So the Braum's wasted so much of their time, it's, it's quite funny. And Lucian's... Lucian shouldn't try and fight Callista. She blocked him. I don't think he can win that. Oh shit. Oh, that was lucky. Now she. Oh, nice flash. And then she died. She goes down. So even though we got an ace there, we still. Four of us died. So. Well, Riven died as well, actually. So we all, we all died um, at one stage or another in that sort of, in that sort of fight. So that so we, even though we aced them, got a dragon and a tower, we all still died, which is pretty bad. Like we we should have just left, regrouped as a five, bought bought our items, and, and then push push another lane. At this point in time, we've cleared all the towers, bot towers, mid towers, and and the top towers. So we really want to try and break their base at this point. But I see Trinomir split pushing, so I go down and try and kill him. But good thing about Annie is that I can really burst him down before he can ult, because Right, right there. I, even though I used my ignite, I probably didn't have to. I thought he was gonna ult, so I put an ignite as well with his ult. So when he goes to heal with his Q, he, he doesn't heal for as much and he just dies. But I didn't need to do that, maybe he didn't have ult in the last fight. Lee gives me blue again. Props to you, Lee. Good jungler giving the mid lane a blue when they're ahead. Ruins the guy for the for Leona. We don't really need a chase, but if we can pick Leona off, it's a it's a nice easy pick, nice easy kill steal from me. Uh, like there goes half of their engage. Only Warwick can engage with them now, unless Ori lands like a miracle ult, which she probably won't. And now since Leona's dead, we're pressuring the mid tower, waiting for the minion waves. I think I think the other guys want to be Baron. But I feel I feel like breaking the base, especially when we when we have the ability to break the base, since they don't have much wave clear at all. They have Lucian and, and Orianna. But Orianna's not really strong. See, again, I get caught by the Warwick for the third time this game. And then I try and flash, and unfortunately I get ignited and auto attack by Orianna. See, that's how these games can, can swing either way. Just just from things like that, the, the Warwick and the Leona and Ori being able to catch me out like that. Especially when Warwick has the ability to jump. What I could have done actually is. Uh, Zonya, if I if I had fast reaction time, I, I wasn't expecting that work ult at all, not not one bit. But if I had really good reaction time, I could have Zonya's before he landed on me, and then I could have dodged uh, all the follow up damage from the owner and Oriana. 
but unfortunately he got me, I took a bunch of damage. At least I was able to buy two seconds for my team. And then I probably wasted my flash there. I I thought I could live if I flashed away with Trindamir Eden, but unfortunately um, Ori was in range for the for the Q oh sorry, for the Ignite and the auto. But that's okay, so these guys are getting Baron off that. We won the fight. And get Baron. So now that we did get Baron, what do we do? Obviously we want to try and break the base, which is what we need to do. Um, I, I'm i going down bot to get Lucian, because I want to save the tower, but what I should really do is, is group, with my, group with my team, because since I have all the gold for my team, it's more beneficial for me to be with the team rather than go off trying to kill the ADC. Because the ADC at the moment is not very strong, so it, it's since I'm not with my team, they don't have all of my gold in the in the team fight to try and help. And I'm sitting here chasing Lucian down all the way back to my base. And and this is a good play on Lucian. He's wasting my time and I'm I'm like the most fit person on our team. And I don't even get the kill on him. He gets executed, so well played from him. I get the XP, but he wasted a good thirty seconds of my time chasing him down to the bot lane and then all the way back up to my base. Uh, whereas I could have helped my team, and see, they just, they just got, uh, three of my team just died, my Bomb, Callista, and, and Riven, so, if I was there, they, they probably wouldn't have died, we probably would have won the fight, and probably would have got the inhib, so really, bad decision making on my part, and then here I decided to play the wave, where I should be going mid to help, but, since three of my team are dead, or Callista just came back up, um, they're pushing mid tower, and they're probably gonna, they probably would have got it anyway, so I just cleared the wave and then back. Because I wanted to have enough money for my, my void stuff. I'm still waiting for 10 gold. But now that I've got void stuff, anyone that builds MR, like Leona and Warwick are quite likely to build MR. Even, uh, Trindamir could get a Hex Drinker. You know, so the, they're likely to build MR at some point, so I just get an early void stuff. Because you don't wanna... You don't want to wait for them to build all of their MR items and then build a Void Staff. You want to just get a Void Staff because you know they have to build MR because I'm so fit. Just using my Sweeper to make sure there's no vision around here. Don't want them to be sitting in a bush. Especially like the owner and Warwick sitting in a bush just to you know, shit on you when you walk past. So we've got another dragon. Now, like, we want to fight. We have Baron, we have all the dragons, we have, we have Cloud Dragon, Ocean Dragon, and we're ready to fight. Like, I'm so strong, I'm one item away from full build at 30 minutes, so I'm, I'm really, really fit. Really, really strong with, you know, 600 AP. So we push up the mid lane. <clears throat> we see Trindamir splitting top, right? So Riven has to answer that, because if we don't answer it, and they stall us enough, Trindamir, you know, he can split push so fast, right? So... We just, we just force a fight, since they don't have Trindamir. And as soon as the owner misses her ult and then still goes in, you know, we know we're going to win the fight, so I just go in with my ult instantly. I only hit the owner, but that's fine. Warwick, I thought he was looking for the ult here, the, the, the flank. But then I think he lagged out for a second, because he stayed there for a couple of seconds and then uh, randomly ulted. But anyway, I'm going to try and get this Lucian, finish him off. He's done. So now Trinomir's had to back, he had to answer our, our team fight, our forced engage, right? So he's back, and he's alone now, so he's, he's already altered, he's gonna die. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna die, yep, he dies. So now we, we break the base, we've broken the base, and I flash after Orianna, and my team follows up with the kill. So that basically sealed the deal for us, we basically won this game already. But anyway, that's how... That's how reliable this champion is, especially in low elo. Like if you're bronze and you're playing and you're playing Lee Sin, Yasuo, you know, LeBlanc, Vayne, all of these high skill cap champions, you might find you're not as mechanically sound as you, as you think you are. Like even I'm I'm pretty bad at mechanics to be honest with you. So I played Annie just to show it gives you an example of how easy it is to play efficiently with with an easy easy champion. She's got a low a low sort of skill cap and she's got easy abilities to land and to use, so that's why I picked her today. And if you if you play champions like Annie, you know, Ari's another safe pick. 
Champions that are really sort of easy, although Ari's got her Q and E, which are skill shots, and they're really game changers whether you hit them or not. But with Annie, you know, she's she's got a point and click Q, an insta stun W, and an insta insta cast ult. Even though it's a skill shot, it's pretty it's got a pretty big hitbox, it's easy to hit, right? So that's why I think she's one of the most reliable picks in, in low elo. And that's just an example of that today. Um anyway, that wraps up the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there's definitely more to come. I've got heaps more videos in the works. I'm also getting a new mic because I'm really putting effort into this. You know, it's like something I love. I love making videos and 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 showing them to the world. You know, so if you like the video, um, please give it a like and a subscribe if you liked it because I'm definitely bringing more content. Uh, that wraps up the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Yeah.